Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys how to paint a motorhome. This is a 2003 Holiday Rambler and a lot of the paint was fading off of it. So as you can see from this side here I've already done it. I've got a little wet spot underneath the window where I still need to do a little touch-up but what I'm using is Rust-Oleum paint. I'll show you exactly what it is mixed with mineral spirits. This here is pretty much two coats on it. Hardest part of the whole deal was taping it off. I've got the other side taped off and I'll show you guys how to mix it up. I mix it up three to one mineral spirits to the Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. I'll show you exactly the paint to use but this is the finished product. The back of the motorhome I've done probably six months ago everything's holding up good but as far as shine everything looks pretty much fantastic i mean for the amount of work i think i've i think i did this side in about a day and a half so you could probably do the whole motor home in roughly four days depends if you have any help i'm out here at a storage lot so i had to bring water I clean it all off with Dawn dish, dish soap, clean it off really good, then rinse it off, try to get all the dirt, oil off, um, not too hard, just take your water with you, and then tape it off really good, and on the other side I'll show you how I've taped it off. But as far as finished product, or almost finished, this thing looks great. Good shine everything good as you can look down the motorhome and see the shine it really brought back the new motorhome shine um this thing's 17 years old so paint's going to fade but i hated going into a rv park or going camping with my buddies with the new motorhomes and seeing you know parking next to these things where they've spent eighty thousand dollars and i show up with one that I spent 15000 and, you know, one of those things. So here is the back after, after probably about oh, six months or so. Everything still looks good. Um, I don't know if you guys can catch the shine or not, but it's really holding up good. Here's the back side that I'm about to start painting. So what I'm going to do is, I've taped it off, I put paper, and I'm going to paint this bottom part, then tape this top part. I've only got a few hours to do all this. It's supposed to rain or snow here in Denver in the next, I don't know, couple days. So I like it to dry before um, anything gets out of hand. It's probably about 65 degrees, and here is what I am using. So. We have Rust-Oleum High Performance Protective Enamel Oil-Based Gloss White is that. I'm using green frog tape, cabinet and door uh, rollers. I've got a four inch roller, also a six inch that I'm going back and forth between. Um, green, Painter paper and mineral spirits. So what I like to do is I mix the paint and the mineral spirits three to one ish. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. I've got a measuring cup over here. What I do is dump this in. Probably about there. You can see on the measuring thing. Oh, well, you can't really see it, but um, it's not very much. I mean, I've already been into this can. I've got, I think I bought two quarts of it and I'm into my second quart. So the other side took about a little over a quart um, to do that other side. It's taking me pretty much 
two coats. Um, if you dilute it more, you'll just have more to touch up. So your second coat will be have to be thicker to get it. Um, so here we go with this. Right about there. So that's about three to one, maybe four to one, I don't know. Mix it up, stir it up really good. It's got some resistance when I'm stirring it, not as much as just stirring paint or straight paint, but when I dip it off, that's about what we're looking for. So it's a lot runnier, but not too runny. You can make it too runny and it doesn't hurt anything. Um, the biggest part would be just your second coat is gonna have to be thicker on the paint. So that is my thickness. People count it, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, so six seconds for that one two three four five six and then it starts stripping i'll come back in a little bit and fill you in how it's going